All right, so welcome to Let's Make It Right. We're going to be going over how to upgrade to the new Freedom 18. And we're going to be using the file link store. For everybody who hasn't gotten signed into our new file link store, you just need to send us an email with your full name so or the full name on your order so we can verify you. So it's L-M-I-R-N-O-W at gmail.com. L-M-I-R now at gmail.com and you can just send us the full name that's associated with your order and we'll get you everything you need to log in go ahead and click on file linked and you're gonna click let me line this up right for you so you're just gonna click continue after you've already logged in and the first thing you're gonna do is, is click on ONMC 18.2 this is gonna take the longest and you only have to do this the first time but uh, go ahead and get that started scroll down and click on where it says click here to uninstall your freedom 17 and click it again so go ahead and open it scroll down to the right click install and then scroll down to the right and click open we're gonna scroll down to ONMC and it's gonna be we're gonna long press it so instead of clicking it we're gonna hold down our select button but just scroll down when you find ONMC Cody 17 long press it click uninstall okay give that a second if it needs a second to uninstall it if you need to go ahead and um, rewind the video but uh, the next thing is you'll click the back button to come back to your file link store pick the build so if you have reel to bread you're gonna click the 4 4k reel to bread is a paid service so um, just know that everybody else who doesn't have a paid real to bread account click the one that says 100 percent free the day one freedom 18 this is for fire stick fire tv box nvidia shield boxes you'll see it's light and it's fast so i'm going to be doing the real to bread one because there is one little thing i need to go over with pairing up to gaia and and cody 18 that's sort of tricky but um just select the build that you want and just click it one time You'll see this actually <laughs> flows by the ONMC um, download. So hopefully you already have that downloaded. We also have a new add-on in here in the 4K Freedom Build called Destiny that I want you to go ahead and pair up with when you get started and test that out because basically this is a bigger add-on. It is bigger than Gaia, and uh, we want to make sure that people are using that. And you know, if you don't like it, let us know because we could free it up and we could use that space for other things. When that is done downloading, we are just waiting on the top right here, 18.2. Whenever your 18.2 is ready, go ahead and scroll up here. Make sure that your green uh, rectangle is, you know highlighting the ONMC 18.2 click it scroll down to the right and click install and you'll see from now on the updates are going to be a lot faster it's just you know the first time you have to get this application installed but scroll down to the right and click open click continue click allow and allow it to extract when it's done with this we're also going to allow it to do its thing it's got to update the um, the wizard in here in the repo so just hang out for a second
All right, when this pops up, we're just going to click continue. So click your select button and then click your select button one more time. Click OK to clear this out. And scroll up. When you get to the two dot menu right here, see where I am? The two dot menu, click that. Come down here to maintenance. Click maintenance. Scroll down and click backup restore. Scroll down and find Restore Local Build. And click Continue in green. Click the two dot menu several times until you get back to here. So just keep on clicking this two dot menu until you get back to this screen right here. And then click External Storage. Scroll down and find Downloads or Download. Click Download. Click file links, and if you have RD or Real to Rid, you're going to see RD backup. If you have a regular Day One Freedom Build, it'll just be backup.zip. Go ahead and click it, and allow it to do its thing. And you'll see this is pretty fast. There are certain files that are are a little bit bigger than other files, so. You'll have periods where it'll stop, like the skin in about a minute, it's gonna stop on the skin and that will seem like it's, it's frozen, but it's actually just doing one big file. So just allow it to do its thing. So for real to rid users, the new Destiny add-on is really cool. I like it just because it's just different from other add-ons. There's so many add-ons that just do the same thing and look exactly the same thing. This one's kind of different. So when you click on a movie in there, it's gonna start, you know, searching for sources like all the other add-ons does. But while it's doing that, it's gonna play like a preview or have fan art and stuff that you can look at while you're waiting on it to load which is kind of nifty and uh, there's also one more thing the Gaia add-on when you're authenticating your real to account it's kind of hard to navigate through the menu so I'm gonna go through that real quick basically when you click in the build uh, to pair up to real to rid on step one when you click on that you're gonna scroll all the way down and it's gonna get caught right in the middle of the list you simply just scroll to the right one time, scroll down one time, just click the down button one time, scroll to the left to skip that little glitch part, and then click authenticate. But I'm going to show you how to do it. It's just a little bit glitched out. Basically the menus have all changed up in 18, so that is catching the add-on developers off guard. And there's going to be one thing that we're all going to do together. So the weather is going to come up like it's from the UK. It's going to have Celsius and things like that. So I'm going to show everybody how to do that. Once I'm done with that, pretty much if you have, um, if you don't have a paid real to account, you are good to go. So you can just explore your build. And if you don't have a paid real to bridge account and yours is done already, you feel free to fast forward the video because you're probably almost done.
basically you're just going to click force stop or force close click your one icon that has the 18.2 on it right now that could be different in the future it could be 18.3 I think they're already working on an 18.3 but whatever the latest version of 18 is right now All right, when it's done, just go ahead and click your select button to force close. Back out of here, just click the back button, click yes. If that didn't work, click your home button. Find your new 18.2. It might be all the way over to the back. So if you're on an Amazon Fire TV, hold down your home button, click apps, scroll to the left one time find your one icon with the 18.2 on it and go ahead and click it. You can also bring it to the front so whenever you're in that app menu you can click your menu button and you can click what is it bring to the front or something like that pull to the front but as always, whenever you open up your build, give it three to five minutes to go ahead and do everything. It's going to set up the skin. It's going to check for add-on updates. I'm sure that 13 Clowns has already come out with another add-on update. They've been coming up with add-on updates like every, um, like two times a day. So that will probably come through. But see where it is, where the um, weather icon is. If you're coming up with Celsius, I'm going to go over how to change that over to Fahrenheit and make it, you know, Americanized. But just hang out here for a second. <laughs> sure enough, yep. Yeah. They always do. So like, um, when we push out a build update, we want it to be as fresh as possible because every time that an add-on updates even, that can sort of break things in the build and make us look like we aren't doing our due, uh, due diligence. But it's kind of hard to keep up with some of these developers right now, which is a good thing. I mean, we want the freshest add-on as possible. Awesome. Destiny came out with an add-on update. I'm going to be going over that with real, real users in just a second. It's really simple, but I want you to go ahead and I want to show you the, the pair up and log in so everybody gets paired up with that. That's important. All right, so everybody scroll to the left, and when you get to the system section, scroll down. Oh, no, actually, we're going to click directly on the word system. Click interface. Scroll down one time, and then scroll to the right. When you get to regional default format, click it, and scroll down one time to USA 12 hour. Click OK you know click your select button again and then just back out right here if you want to get rid of your adult section scroll down and click on skin scroll to the right click set up the Aeon Knox main menu scroll to the left and scroll up when you get to the word adult scroll right and scroll down now so it's right here. You would click where it says disable and see how it's got the red X. Also, if you wanted to enable it, if it's disabled, you would go ahead and click this and enable it. But I'm going to disable it. The main thing is when we back out of here, don't do anything because it's going to recreate the skin. So we're going to click back one time, back two times, and then pause. 
Give it a second. All right. So everybody who has paid um, paid real bit accounts need to basically go over this real quick. But everybody else, feel free to explore your builds. Do appreciate you. All right. So paid real to bid users in your movies or TV shows section, just scroll down, scroll to the right, click on real to bid. You're going to do the normal setup. So you're going to do everything as normal, but I'm going to go over the two sections where you're going to run into issues. So feel free to pause right here. Um, well, actually, you're going to click pair up with real to bid. And you're going to come down here and you're going to click pair up to your real to bid account and do the normal thing. You have two things you have to do in there. You have to click in there. But feel free to pause the video right here. I'm going to go over Gaia real quick. Click on pair up to Gaia. Scroll down and click on one. Where it says one, click here, scroll right. Okay, so we're going to scroll right like normal. And then we're going to hold the down button. But eventually it's going to get glitched right here. We're simply going to click the right button one time. Click the down button one time. Click left one time. And then now we're in here, okay? You just simply click on authentication right here and go ahead and pair up your account again. It's the same thing you do with all of them. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead, you know, so go ahead and type this in or whatever your code is on your screen. As always, you go to real dash to bread .com on your phone, tablet, whatever device you use to sign up for real to bread with is usually the easiest, but whatever device you have handy, you might have to sign into your real to bread account if it's the first time you're using that device for real to bread. But then you're going to go to real to bread. It's real dash to bread. We'll see it on your screen. You'll real dash to bread dot com forward slash device and type in your code. When that is done, go ahead and click, you know, whatever the green icon is. And click OK. Do the step two to optimize your real to grid. But go ahead and pause the video right here. And um, I'm going to go over the new destiny so the destiny right here this is very important we want to know what y'all think about this add-on simply click on this right here to pair it up I know destiny just came up came through with an add-on update so there it goes all right go ahead and do the same thing so real dash to bread dot com forward slash device and then enter your code and we want to know what y'all think about this because this is a bigger add-on it's actually bigger than Gaia is and um, if you aren't using it or if you don't see any kind of use for it we'd like to know that just because you know there's we could free this up and make your build faster we could add other add-ons in that you know if y'all have any requests for anything that we've used in the past but you'll see we have all the stuff in the past um, also installed or if not it's in the add-on um, the expanders sections so but definitely check this out pair up to it today and um, get using that let us know what you think about it if it's a keeper or if it's a goner let us know either which way but you can tell it's sort of like in beta mode it just came out and um, so cut it a little bit of slack but other than that if it's not working for you we need to know you know but we were having some fun with it the other day definitely check that out be good um, reach out to us if y'all need any help at all it's lmirnow at gmail.com be good